Hey, this is Mike Sullivan of the Mike Sullivan Golf School. This week we're on location at the Pebble Beach Golf Links here in Pebble Beach, California. And in one second we're going to show you how it is that changing the way your hands are on the club can help you figure out if you're going to hit a draw or if you're going to hit a fade. Okay, so I'm guessing most people out there are probably slicing a right-handed player. That ball goes off to the right on you. And so one thing you want to check out is the way that you're holding the club. So if we think about the way like the, the grip works in golf, um, I, I, naturally we, we kind of want to have our hands in front of us with our palms facing each other, the back of the hand kind of going down the target line. Well, if you think about it, if I hold a golf club like this in that type of, uh, you know, type of a setup with my grip, well, when I go to make contact, hopefully my club face would be square. But in a, in a good golf swing, our weight's moving forward, our hands get ahead a little, and can you see how that club face is starting to open up a little bit? That's one of the reasons why people slice sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust. From, I'm a right-handed player, so my left hand. I'm going to take this left hand, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit on top of the club so that this V here is pointing up about at my right shoulder, my back shoulder. Okay. Then my left hand, I'm going to take my palm with my left hand and make that kind of match up with my club face angle. That helps me get an awareness of the club face. Okay. And I like to you know, overlap through here. There's other places you can find the exact you know, details of the grip. But what I'm doing now is I've got what we call a little stronger grip because that left hand especially is on top of the club and naturally I want to be in this position. So as you can see when I get this club face looking up here at you, right? As I get my left hand in a natural position, see that club face starts to close? And that's something that helps us get that club face rotating through impact. Now the thing about the grip is, there's definitely some wiggle room to fine tune things, so you have to play around with it a little bit, but that's just a, probably a good explanation of how it is a stronger grip helps somebody hit a draw, and a weaker grip would help them hit a fade or a slice. All right, so use those grip fundamentals to help you get rid of your slice.